Good morning, kindergarten. It's Mrs. Wilkinson here with your pre-lit lesson. We really miss seeing you here at school, but until we can be back together again, we're going to be watching our, uh, our lessons together. And we're really enjoying listening to uh, what you're saying on your lessons. We can, we can hear some of the things that you're, and words that you're giving back to us. So let's have a look at today's lesson. All right, there are some pictures that I have here on the board for you today. Let's have a look at what they are. This is a mat. This is fat. The cat has been drinking lots of milk, I think. Look how fat he's got. And this is a rat. You know that Mrs. Wilkinson does not like rats, don't you? All right, what we're going to do today is we're going to listen to the sounds in the words and we're going to write them down on the board. I'm going to write them for you. If you'd like, you could have a turn at writing them as well. All right, let's have a look at this first word. This is mat. I'm going to write the sounds that you can hear in mat. M -a -t. Let's write those down. All right, let's have a look at the sounds kindergarten that I have written for Matt. We've got m, a, t. When we put it together, what do we get? Matt. That's right, Matt. Let's move Matt down here next to that word. All right, I'm going to write another word for you now. This word is fat. Let's have a look at the sounds that are in the word fat. F -a -t. Let's put it together. Fat. That's right. Let's move the picture of the fat cat down here. All right, one more that I'm going to write for you. Let's have a look at the sounds in this word. R -a -t. Put it together. Rat. That's right. Let's move the picture of the rat down here. All right, this time I'm going to point to the sounds and I'm not going to say them. I'm going to give you a turn of saying the sounds at home. You ready? Let's see if you can do the sounds. Put your sounds together. What did you get? That's right, the word is mat. M -a -t, mat. Right, you ready to do another one? Let's see if you can say your sounds for this word. I could hear you say at. Well done. Put those sounds together and what word do you get? Fat, that's right, the fat cat. You ready to do this next word? What's the sound? Well done. I heard you say r -a -t. Put it together. Rat. Well done, everybody. You are very good at putting your sounds together. All right, we're going to look at a different story today. I hope you enjoyed green eggs and ham that you did with Mrs. Lever the other day. We're going to do a new story today to look at. And I've got a picture of it here. Here's the book. You might have seen this one down in our rooms. This is called The Very itchy bear. How many words can you count in the title of the very itchy bear? Let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four. That's right, there are four words in the title of our book. 
And here's our author. We always look for the author, don't we, when we're together? This is the author of The Very Itchy Bear. His name is Nick Bland. He writes lots of great books for kids. When we're listening to the story today, I wonder if you could think of something that makes you itchy. In the story, there's something very, very tiny that makes the bear itchy, makes him have to scratch. I wonder if you can think what it is. All right, let's listen to our story now. The Very Itchy Bear by Nick Bland Bear is here and here is flea, but fleas a little small to see. This is flea about to bite, but not because he's impolite. He's biting bear to say hello. Biting high and biting low. This is flea biting bear under here and over there. Biting, biting everywhere. Splash! This is bear and this is flea, floating, floating out to sea. This is bear, not quite sure if flea is with him anymore. This is flea reminding bear that flea has not gone anywhere. This is Bear flicking Flea off his fur and out to sea. This is Bear all alone, frightened now he's on his own. This is Bird and this is Bear and Flea is way, way over there. This is Flea, about to see how scary hungry birds can be. This is Bear in the sea, swimming fast to rescue Flea. Flea is happy, Bear can swim. This is Flea, not biting him. This is Flea. And this is Bear. Together they go everywhere. Did you enjoy that story, Kindergarten? That's a great story, isn't it? Did you find in the story what was making the bear itchy? It was very tiny, wasn't it? It was a tiny little flea. A little flea. The flea made the bear jump around quite a bit. In tomorrow's lesson we're going to look a little bit more at this story. All right, well done today kindergarten for putting your sounds together. I wonder if you could draw me a picture of a mat or something like a fat cat or even a rat even though Mrs. Wilkinson doesn't like rats. I would enjoy looking at your picture. So you could draw a picture today of something, one of these words that you put together and you could take a photo of it and send it to me and I'll have a look. That's all for now. Goodbye, kindergarten.